The United States women's national team, the team lost to a bunch of 15-year-old boys before their World Cup run. They got, a, they got smashed. They didn't just lose. Does this mean that somehow women are inferior to men? No. What we're talking about is inferior in a particular subject. We need to be realistic about what we're talking about. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't diminish women because they can't beat a man in a boxing match. I think I could beat up. I think I could beat up Keith Thurman. Um, Triple G, he's older now, but I, I can give Triple G a run Triple for his money. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh wow. I'm just a better man. Better man. All right, Dante. So uh, this is a bit of an older story, but I think it's important. The debate that goes on with relationships, and I think one of the big problems, is whether or not women and men are the same, whether we're equal, whether we're biologically the same. That, I think the, the real, what you said first was equal. Are, are men and women equal? And I think when you when you say equal... What you're initially saying is, are they the same? And two things that are different in nature could never be equal because even the sum of part, some of the parts, I think the problem, I think, is we're mistaking equal for of equal value or equally as valuable as opposed to equal as an overall perspective on men and women. The United States women's national team the the best sports team we have in the world as the united states okay. because they have won multiple world cups they have achieved the highest thing you can achieve how in, many do you know how many world cups they won on how them? many at least three to my memory yeah. let me so one of the stars of the team carly lloyd admitted that the team lost to a bunch of 15 year old boys before their world cup run really um, yeah yeah, so apparently to warm up... Actually, for, they admit that, so they warmed up with them and they... Okay, wow. They lost. So they, in order to prepare for the World Cup, for some reason they decided to scrimmage or do an exhibition match, or not even a match, just a training session against uh, mm -hmm. some 15-year-olds. 15-year-old... Uh, I guess they're boys. They're not technically men. Yeah. Uh, Carly yeah. Lloyd... <laughs> Yeah, Carly Lloyd said uh, when asked, is it true that you lost to a bunch of 50-year-old boys? Yes, it's true. I know thousands of people have already brought it up, Lloyd answered. They were good. Lloyd went on to say that the loss wasn't the only one she experienced at the hands of a male team, but that it helped secure the pres uh, some prestigious tournaments, including gold medals and two FIFA World Cups, 2015 and 2019. Uh, let me see here. We actually lost to the youth Bayern Munich team. Bayern Munich is a German soccer team. And a youth team would be, I believe, under 18. Um, yeah. uh, we went on to the Olympics and the World Cup. Uh, FC Dallas, the uh, under 15-year-olds team, defeated the U.S. women's national team 5-2 um, uh, as they were used to tune up before an international friendly against Russia. They got, a, they got smashed. They didn't just lose. So it, it goes to talk about, does this mean that men are stronger than women? Uh because that's a, another argument that takes place. Men can, women and men are biologically equal. And so this is an example where they're not biologically equal because you have the best yeah. female athletes, women athletes in the world in this sport. Uh, okay. And they lost 5-2, right? Now, here's a picture I'm going to show you that is going to, uh, to give you an example of what we're talking about biologically. Okay, you see that that's guy? That's a 15-year-old kid. That's Carly Lloyd with Tanner Tessman uh, <laughs> back in 2017. So he's under the 15. So it's yeah. uh, he is not 15 years old. He yeah. is dwarfing her in size. Does this mean that somehow women are inferior to men? No, it just means biologically we're different. Men have a different type of muscle mass and okay. strength than women. All right. So when we say inferior, right, yeah. what we're talking about is inferior in a particular subject. So here's my question. You said, does it mean that women are inferior? Are women inferior to men when it comes to soccer? <laughs> it comes to soccer, FIFA rules. Why can't you say yes? Because just for social reasons, societal reasons, that's the only thing you can say. Okay, because but John McEnroe got crucified. Do you remember that story? John McEnroe got crucified <laughs> for saying, I'll pull that clip up. 
for saying that Serena Williams wouldn't even be, she couldn't beat uh, anybody in the bottom hundred of the men. Or okay, not now even the top let's let's do this. Can you get the video of what Serena Williams says about playing men's players? Okay, that I'll find. Yeah, I'll find that. Yeah. So, but my my point being is this is the problem where there's feelings over facts. Do what are we talking about? It there are women are absolutely superior to men in things that men are not superior. I mean, what I think the problem is is this this the feminist movement has moved to say to create this idea of what we consider a human being is basically a man, like whatever the man achieves, what he does. And so because we're using that as a standard, which I think is a mistake, there's a different model for women or a different model for women in general and femininity. And I think that you have, there's a, the scope of that is very different. And those puzzle pieces fit together. The problem is when you have women who are not trying to be respected women, they're trying to be respected men or mm. perceived as a respected man. Yeah, I you think. Got, got yeah, I have the clip. I have the clip here. This is Serena. So no, Ma McEnroe got crucified for saying that she wouldn't even be in the top 100. 200, now, what does Serena say? And this is uh, Serena Williams on the David Letterman show, The Late Show. With now, David you've never Rogers. seen this, right? I haven't seen this particular clip. No. OK, let's see. Well, who would it be? Well, I don't know. Let's say you okay. would be the, the... I was hoping you'd say All right, feminine side. And, <laughs> and me. <laughs> and you. Oh. Well, actually, it's funny because Andy Murray, he oh, he was been joking about um, myself and him playing a match. And I'm like, Andy, seriously, like, are you kidding me? Because for me, tennis and men's tennis and women's tennis are completely almost two separate sports. So I'm like, if I were to play Andy Murray, I would lose 6-0, 6, -0, 6 -0, and five to six minutes, maybe 10 minutes, because, it's, no, no they, it's true, are, it's true, honestly, it's a completely, really? it's a completely different sport. The men are a lot faster, and me, and um, they, they get, they serve harder, they hit harder, it's just a different game, mm -hmm. and I love to play women's tennis, and I, I only want to play girls, because I don't want to be embarrassed, I would not do the tour, I wouldn't do Billie Jean any justice, so Andy, stop it, yeah. we're not gonna, I'm not gonna let you kill me. I'm, I'm with you, when it comes to tennis, I only want to play girls. Yeah. <laughs> we got that going on. There so go. this is the probably the most dominant tennis player in the history of tennis in the last, and she's saying, She's she. If anybody could she brag about, yeah, I can beat a man. It's uh, her, yeah. It, yeah it, it's her. It's it's and she's admitting to it. Yeah, and there's um, nothing wrong with that. It's just different. But the the problem is, I think when we talk about feminism, we've always said that feminism exists for a reason, right? right. It exists because women have been mistreated for generations since the beginning right. of time. And it's not fair, and women have been abused, and that's and we're trying to fix that. And feminism has to exist for that reason, because otherwise, uh, men act recklessly and treat right. women terribly. Absolutely. But the problem is that it goes beyond that to now you're having arguments that just don't make scientific sense, and going, men and women are equal in every facet. Biologically, they're both the same. Right. Everything about them is the same, and that's just not the case, and it leads right. to a lot of conflict and problem because you have the same expectations from a woman that you do as a man and vice versa, and it's not the same. If you love what we're doing here, go to Patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right, Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips, and also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. Both Here's the thing I, I want you to, can you look up um, uh, the record, Clarissa Shields, Clarissa Shields, uh, lady boxer, um, phenomenal, phenomenal lady boxer. Olympic, too. Uh, she was an Olympic champion too. She was an Olympic yeah, champion. But I remember she's Clarissa a, Shields. I yeah. think she's a middleweight champion. I'm not sure what her. I think she's 14 and 0. Maybe 14 and 0. Um, right. what? How many belts does she have? Do you know? Uh, let me see what championship she has. Um, let's see what uh, what she holds here. Barely with me. I'm looking for Wikipedia. Uh. Championships. Uh, 
let me pull it up. She has multiple world championships in three weight classes, including the undisputed female lightweight middleweight since March of 2021, undisputed female middleweight from 2019 to 2020, and unified WBC and IBF female super middleweight. Right. So she's a champion in three different weight classes, right? Okay. Big accomplishment. Big accomplishment. Now, uh, give me a video of Clarissa Shields uh talking about fighting men so when she was talk when she was talk when they talked to her about so she's been online talking about beating men's I, I, in fact she said she could beat uh thurman thurman which was a uh, actually a, a a belt he had a he was a champion of a weight class at one time mark thurman uh and she was telling him that she'll beat his ass Blah blah blah, but I want if you can just uh, okay. Do you think there are professional men out there that you could beat in a, in a boxing match? Absolutely. Really? I'm I'm a two time Olympic gold medalist, uh, uh, undisputed champion. I think people get it kind of. They always say, "Oh, you know, a woman can't beat a man." I I I spar with men. It's weird. Like if I was to say, like, which is the guy I think I could beat up? I think I could beat up Keith Thurman. You know, skill wise, oh, just gosh, uh, you gotta be kidding me. Strength wise, I, I think I, that they may, that they may be stronger than me, but strength wise, I think that they're made that they may be stronger than me, but their but their boxing abilities isn't isn't like mine. Um, Triple G, he's older now, but I, I can give Triple G a run Triple for his money. Power, I can give him a run for his money. Power, power for power is in the question because what is boxing? Boxing is a sweet science. It's not about strength. You know, it's not about strength. See the defense, the offense, the traps I set. If I was to get in there with a man, man, I would do a lot more of that. And I do have some power. I do have some power. I'm not going to say I'm stronger than them, but if I set up the right shot with the right timing. I mean, that's astonishing. I'm not even a big, big boxing guy, but even I know who Triple G is. I've watched enough Triple G. He's oh, yeah. one of the, the best fighters. I mean, and, and Keith Thurman isn't a nobody either. Keith Thurman was what was his? I, I Keith Thurman was a champ for a while. Oh, sure. I mean, um, she's, not, and, she's not just saying I could be a fight. She goes, she's rattling him off. So here's my thing: we're not saying. Don't get me wrong. I've watched Clarissa Shield. I have rooted for her on several occasions. And you know what? She might be able to beat me. I mean, she's a professional boxer. Sure. She's really sharp. Um. Uh, but I'm saying you're not going to, uh, there's no way as you don't have the muscle strength, you don't have the tendon thickness, you don't have the speed, you don't have the power. And so, and I'm not saying that they're not some women who are, uh, who could beat a man in a fight, who, who could there beat are. a man. It, that, that's, there's an isolated case. Now, I, I, there was a radio host. Did you ever see that? The radio host where he, um, he fought three women in a ring at, <laughs> at once. Really? I know this. I didn't uh, see uh, it's, it's like Man Cow or some shit. One of those jerk offs. Yeah, they, they, uh, but play, play, play this clip play I this just showed you. Right, so I'm now this is this. her. All right. Well, this is not a good start here. <laughs> right, right. It looks, <laughs> Cause the guy standing up <laughs> looks Somebody's, like a man. Now he doesn't look like a man who's in great shape. Down. Yeah, but uh, there's there's somebody's already on the ground here, and, and it's it not the a, dude. It's not wearing, the dude with the well. Let's just say the one without the shirt don't have tits. Well, yeah, it's, if yeah, that's true. He's he's skins, so that means that that's not the man. Uh, if that is a man on the ground, he is getting his leggings from Lululemon. So <laughs> let's take a look at this clip. Uh, here we go. Hold on. Oh, I gotta rewind it. Yes. Oh! Oh wow! Yeah. That left hook! Oh! Right on the jaw! Yes. She she said she pulled the knife on him after this, but also she said that he had his gloves was he was cheating with the gloves. He caught her with a left hook. What was yeah. he cheating? He caught her right up flat on the face. Yeah. So what what do you say, Dante, to somebody who says that's either sexist or it's uh? anti-trans so to speak because that's another issue that, that that drives deep down no, i i just think you i mean we need to be realistic about what we're talking about i mean it doesn't it doesn't diminish women because they can't beat a man in a boxing match or they can't out weight lift a man um there are things that women are better than men i mean i mean we we talked about the um we talked about this before you know that movie hidden figures 
was a bunch of black women that did the math to, to get the, 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 the rocket ship on the moon. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I think the problem is that there's this, this opposing energy about right. what we, what we think is uh what we think should be a, what we shouldn't be when I think we cannot, a human, the human species doesn't survive without women and they don't survive without men. And I think that's really the thing in, in a nutshell is that we have to understand that we need each other. And this adversarial idea of men and women at odds is just absurd because of the fact that this is just a way to make money off of people. It, it, I think what we talk about on this podcast is not is talking about male empowerment and and the credibility of men and so on and so forth and and, and just trying to because the reality is you want to this movement that we create here is to make better men for what to be partners to be better men as in partnerships with women. And I'm, I'm and I'm I, I don't have a problem, you know, if you're into trans women or whatever. But or I'm saying LGBT ultimately, or whatever. That's you know, we're all for that. That's just, but it's, but a majority of the focus. population, a majority of the population is hetero, heteronormative or heterosexual relationships. Right. So that's why we're talking about that. And yeah. we'll talk about the the, the the nuance of that as well. But we're, what we're ultimately saying here is we're trying to give a, a degree of control over over men over their lives so that they can ultimately be better mates and this this competitive nature of something that doesn't even have to be a competitive nature is just it's really absurd it's just really absurd and 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 the okie doke is that we buy into this this adversarial understanding of men and women at odds with each other which is ridiculous you you have this and don't get me wrong clarissa shields is the baddest bo female boxer in the game. I mean, I, I follow her, but for yeah. her to say she could beat Triple G and <laughs> Triple G and uh, Sean Porter and Mark Thurman is just, uh, it's absurd. The level of absurdity to this yeah. is just, what makes you think that? Well, it's, it's uh, that, I don't know what makes her think that. I will say that part of this is, again due to feminism which needs to exist because for a long time women weren't looked at as equal so there are things like equal rights and equal pay for equal work um that are necessary that are rightful and it's rightful for women to pursue that without a doubt and that should be the way it is you should get equal pay for equal work and equal treatment i agree but this is an offshoot of that that has gone way too far that is unrealistic because a, a group or a, a how, how would you say this somebody they co-opted the movement and yeah. have taken it to a degree where now it's biologically men and women are the same right. physically a, a woman can do anything a man can do and it's just not accurate and it doesn't escalate the dialogue or it doesn't benefit either party to no. constantly fight that way and then to to, to to say to have the dialogue of this to have the dialogue is is the thing where you go now if i have the a dialogue now i'm i'm anti-trans i'm anti-woman i'm anti this because i just simply because i want to have the conversation or what the nuance is and i think the nuance is important to have it there, there's an important conversation that needs to have that, that needs to happen and um we're in a situation i mean it's just a it's just a weird kind of thing where it's like women a lot of times don't want to be respected as women they want to be respected as women in the way that a man is respected and and we're talking about something but totally it's also different. inaccurate at times it's in or um inconsistent let me put it that way yeah. so for the the example of of women people giving crap to john McEnroe for saying that serena williams couldn't beat somebody in the uh, two the 200 ranked tennis player men's tennis player right and even after serena williams herself is saying i i i probably would get trapped i would not beat him i would not yeah. beat a male tennis right player and let's consider serena williams the most dominant female player of all times of all time of all times yeah. not even in question uh and yet if you talk about tennis uh, in men's tennis, the majors, the four major tournaments, 
they do uh, throughout the year. Everybody does two out of three sets. That's how tennis is scored. Every game is two out of three. Basically, it's two out of three. In the majors, the four major tournaments: Wimbledon, U.S. Open, Australian Open, French Open. The men do three out of five to win okay. each each uh, each match. And the women, women do. It's still two out of three. Okay. Why? Because they have determined even More the stamina. the stamina, the the physical wear and tear that it would take on a woman to do that. Mm. So there's a scientific reason for that. And even in those confines, you still have people who want to ignore facts and argue that John McEnroe is is an asshole for making those statements. I mean, John McEnroe was an asshole. That's but just but not about this. Not about this in general. And you know who would tell you that? John McEnroe. John McEnroe, John McEnroe would tell you he was an <laughs> asshole. Um, but it, it just doesn't make sense and it doesn't escalate the dialogue and it's just unrealistic and that's how you end up with Clarissa Shields getting a left hook to the face and I mean, oof. From a nobody. Like this is a sparring session. Like I don't, and if anybody spars, I mean, I'm not saying that people don't knock each other out, but the, the sparring is a, it's a point of, of, of you're supposed to be practicing. So he hit her and dropped her like a bad habit. I mean, and dropped her bad. And then it was this whole thing. His gloves was this. And it was it's like, dog, just stop. Like, OK, just. And when is it a situation when we have a discussion? I've been proven wrong. And then I just apologize. I was wrong. You, you can't even do that no more. It, it, which is really nuts that you can't even do that. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.